Hi everyone. Welcome to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sherin and this is the third chapter in our website management course. Today, we will understand how to create web pages using the different content types like rich text, markdown, html and page builder in ERP next. By the end of this chapter, you will know content types in web pages, web templates creating custom web templates in the previous chapter we have understood how useful web pages are we also understood the basics of creating web pages depending on how many web pages your website needs you can choose to use a specific content type if you need to build a few basic web pages you can simply use the rich text option if you have specific ideas on the look and feel of your web pages and are willing to learn a few things you can use markdown or html html stands for hypertext markup language both html and markdown are used to describe the structure of a web page if you need advanced options you can use the page builder all in all the goal is to make web pages engaging to visitors let's see how to publish web pages using different content types in erp next to start off let's first create web templates web templates are structures that act like building blocks while creating a web page to view the list of web templates we can search for it in the awesome bar here we can see some pre-created templates which can be filtered by either name or type if we filter by type then we can choose from component section navbar or footer we can even filter the templates using the standard checkbox to create a new web template we can click on add web template we will first have to name the template and select the type of template this is for example components are reusable pieces of html that can be used in web pages and it's meant to be used by developers or advanced users a section type is used to define any template that adds sections on the web page the navbar type is used to define any navbar template and the footer type is used to define templates that are used for footers on a web page in the template section here we can add the html code required for this template next the field section help us define what fields we want on this template we can click on add row and give this field a label name and type if this field is compulsory then we can use the mandatory checkbox and add any options and defaults if applicable here We can add content to our web page using many different ways. Let's explore some of them. First, we can go to our web page list using the website module or the awesome bar. Let's open the web page we just created. We can scroll down to the content section and see that we can select the content type here. Let's explore each content type. First up is rich text. Rich text is text that is formatted using common formatting options such as bold and italics that are unavailable with plain text. We can format the data by using common formatting tools as shown below. We can even directly embed images using the editor. For example, let's add some text and format it using the options here.
Next, let's explore Markdown. Markdown is a lightweight markup language for creating formatted text using a plain text editor. It is widely used while blogging, instant messaging, online forums, collaborative software, documentation pages, and readme files. Let's see an example. Next type is HTML, which we have already explored in the previous chapter. Lastly, let's explore the page builder. There is a dynamic template checkbox which we can select if we are using the content features to show dynamic data. In the building blocks table, we can click on add row and select a web template. When we click on the edit values button, we can enter the values or attach an image and save them. We can even define a CSS class and style it here. There are few checkboxes we can use to configure this more. Such as if we want to add container, we can select this checkbox and the web template will be rendered in the center constraint box. Or we can choose to add space at the top or the bottom of this section. Additionally, if we want a gray background, we can select the add gray background checkbox and if the hide block checkbox is selected, it will hide the section block. We can add more sections to your page by adding more rows in the page building block table. The framework comes with a varied set of web templates so that we can easily create all kinds of pages. Once all the details are added, we can click on save and view the web page by clicking on see on website in the sidebar. This brings us to the end of the third chapter in our website management course. I hope this helped you understand how to create web pages using different content types in ERP Next. You can read more about this on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss web forms. Thank you.